Cheers, my good fellows. Welcome to another beer review. And we're off to Nashville in the big US of A for this one. Um, this was on the shelf at Home Bargains for a pittance. £1.10, £1.20, something like that. And I just looked it up for all oh my words. You know, that how can how can a place at like Home Bargains can make so much, you know, can make money out of this? Unreal. We're off to Tailgate Brewery. Um, never had a beer from this sort before. And we've got a can of their peanut butter milk stout. There you go. It's clocking in at 5.2% ABV. It says, not a lot on the back, it's tiny. Um, according to the uh, scanner about the Surgeon General and his, you know, health warning in America. But we're not in America. So um, I will tell you what the, the health surgeon general says is basically don't drink too fucking much beer. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. That's the English version anyway. So <laughs> let's just crack it open. Now, I had a peanut butter American one years ago on this channel. And it's one of my favorite beers of the time. It's from Belching Beaver. I just wish I had another can of that here to compare them. Um, it was really, really good. So, let's get the aroma first, shall we? Yep. Oh, plenty of peanuts there. Plenty of peanuts. Smells absolutely wonderful. Tons of peanuts. Crunchy peanut butter or smooth? Um, who cares? It's beautiful. Um, peanut butter, don't eat too much of it because you put on a shitload of weight. I, I went a year eating that stuff when I lived in Carlisle years ago and I ended up putting on so much weight. I really did. <laughs> so don't eat too much of it if you want to keep a, a nice slim body. But, you know, believe you me, when you get to my age, things start to sag and stuff anyway so it doesn't really matter does it um stick that there like you do let's bring that there we go being a glass look at that jet black let's get the aroma oh there's tons of peanuts going about there it smells really really peanutty it really does i can't wait i'm gonna go in cheers everyone Overloaded peanuts, a hint of creaminess there. Going again. It's not. I tell you what. For the money, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just over a pound a can. Getting a lot of peanutty flavours. A sort of hint of creaminess. Um, it's doing what it says on the can for sure. Um, it, can, it is slightly thin towards the back end, but I can live with that. Going again. Yeah, it's doing it. Loads of peanuts. Um, I'm just absolutely dumbfounded by the price. I've had beers, you know, over two quid a, a can that tastes worse than this. Um, you know, it's not. This is not a brilliant beer. It's nice. It's it's nice and pleasant. I would buy this again for sure. It's not as good as a bel belching beaver. That's no way as good as that, but it's still, you know, pretty, pretty good. And it does put a lot of the other slightly dearer beers to shame. It does. Um, so for me, would I buy this one again? Most definitely. It's a little bit thin. You're getting plenty of nuts, slight creaminess to this, 
and yeah, fantastic. So for this beer to come all the way from Nashville to appear on a shelf in Penrith in the home bargains, how the hell do they make money on it? I really do not know. But as a consumer, fair dues. You can't go wrong. Is this one of the best beers in home bargains? For sure. It's not brilliant, but you're getting them taste notes. For sure, you really are. What I'll say to you lot out there is, go to Home Bargains, pick one up, tell me what you think. And don't remember, you know, do remember, don't remember, do remember that, you know, when I review beer, me personally, I take the price into account as well. You know, if you pay a lot for a beer, I'm going to be slightly more critical. But when you pay peanuts for a beer, I'll tell you what, and it works out to be really, really nice. It is just as enjoyable, if not more. So, boys and girls, Tailgate Brewery, get yourself to home bargains, pick one up, tell me what you think. That's all I can say. I like it. Thank you very much for watching this beer review. I don't rate my beers. I don't think it's a thing to do. I think it's always down to the individual. Cheers, everyone. See you all again on another beer review. Cheers.